सोशल साइंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो के द्वारा द पोलर रीजन ये फिफ्थ स्टैंडर्ड का पहला लेसन हम आपके लिए लेके आए हैं एनिमेटेड करके लेकिन उसके पहले मेरे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कीजिए हेलो मॉम वो हो मॉम समर वेकेशन आई है फाइनली आई डोंट थिंक आई कुड हैव टेकन अनदर डे ऑफ स्कूल इन दिस हीट हेलो किड्स फ्रेशन अप एंड कम डाउन फॉर लंच आई हैव अ सरप्राइज टू सेलिब्रेट द स्टार्ट ऑफ योर हॉलीडेज डैड Do you think we can take a trip to some colder place and not Shimla like we do every year some place really really cold I know why don't we go to the north pole dad That is a great joke Andrew maybe you are picking up my sense of humor after all the north pole indeed <laughs> What I'm serious my friend said There is ice everywhere and it's really nice and cool. Andrew, it might feel great for the first 5 minutes, but believe me, life in the polar regions is not very pleasant. The polar regions, dad? Remember your lesson on latitudes and longitudes in school, Andrew? Well, the areas lying beyond 66 and 1/2 degree latitudes in the northern and southern hemispheres up to the poles are called the polar regions these are cold desert areas all right i see it now sounds to me like they would make for excellent vacation spots no my boy let's discuss this while we eat hurry and wash up now ma everything smells great all right dad Now tell me why we shouldn't go to the polar regions for vacation Andrew let me first brief you more about the polar regions as mom told you earlier polar regions are cold deserts they are further split into two climatic regions the tundra and the ice caps We learned this in school the tundra areas support vegetation only in summer and the ice caps are covered with ice all throughout the year That's right and most of the tundra regions lie in the northern hemisphere northern america northern alaska canada greenland northern europe northern asia siberia of northern russia and some scandinavian countries like norway sweden iceland and finland other than these there are some tundra like areas in antarctica in the southern hemisphere yes The climate in the tundra regions is very harsh. It is one of the coldest and driest areas in the world with extremely low annual temperature. The tundra region experiences winters for about 9 months at a stretch. Sometimes the sun is not seen at all and it is night continuously for a few weeks. Yes, yes, and there are violent cold winds which also bring snow along forming thick layers of ice. These snowstorms are called blizzards. Yes, and and in summer the sun shines for almost 25 hours a day. This is why the Arctic region is called the land of the midnight sun. Even in summer the temperature goes up to only 12 degree centigrade. Wow, that sounds really cool. I want to know more about this region. After lunch I'll get the encyclopedia. I will give you a better picture. Are you ready children? Look at these pictures and see what the encyclopedia says. Because of the extreme weather conditions and the poor soil quality, vegetation in the arctic tundra region is limited. The frozen ground prevents plants with deep roots such as trees from growing. As a result, these regions only have shrubs, grass, sedges, mosses and lichens but look dad it says in the short summers small flowering plants also grow for a while then they get buried under the sheet of ice in winter look at the beautiful lilies buttercups violets and poppies look what it says about animal life in the tundra region The animals in Tundra region have special adaptations to survive in the cold climate. 
the bodies of large animals like muskogs and caribou are protected by insulation of fat and they migrate to warmer areas in winter the smaller animals like arctic squirrels burrow holes in the ground and hibernate in winters some other animals found here are snowy owls reindeer white foxes arctic hares black flies and polar bears let me take a closer look aquatic animals in tundra regions comprise of whales seals and walruses wow these animals have fat on their bodies to protect them from the icy cold this fat is called blubber you can also find penguins in the antarctic regions yes and the people who live there make use of reindeers for food and transport you mean people live here even such harsh climatic conditions yes andrew people settled in these regions a long time ago mighty warriors from norway created the first settlement in greenland in fact greenland in itself is a very interesting place did you guys know that greenland is the largest island in the world it is actually a part of denmark the natives of greenland are called inuits you can now find them in russia canada and alaska too how do people live in these areas doesn't sound like it would be a lot of fun now that i think about it they have adapted themselves and their lifestyles to the conditions around them they eat food rich in fat content to keep themselves warm and to survive in the extreme cold they mainly eat sea animals like seal walrus whale cod salmon and land animals like caribou polar bear fox hare and geese to keep warm they wear clothes made of seal skin and keep their heads covered with fur caps they wear hooded jackets called parkas double leggings or trousers mittens socks and high boots if they have adapted to all these conditions they must have great fun playing in the snow every day that is not the case andrew inuits lead a nomadic life in search of food in summers they make tents called two pigs from reindeer and seal skins their winter houses are made of sod which is the top layer of soil mixed with roots of grass or small plants in some areas they live in houses made of blocks of ice i know igloos yes i know about igloos too the entrance of igloos is narrow and faces the sea so that the warm sea breeze can come into the house the inside of the house is covered with seal skin to keep it warm very good an you know children life in these regions is very different from ours they hunt fish and trap animals to find material for food clothing and transportation earlier people used bows arrows and harpoons to hunt seals and walruses look there is an image of a harpoon here but now they use automatic rifles to hunt i can understand why they hunt for food and clothes but what good does it do for them when it comes to transportation andrew since roads and railways are not a possibility in these areas people travel on sledges a sledge is a cart without wheels it is drawn either by reindeers or by dogs called huskies people use the skin and bones of the animals they hunt to make small boats called kayaks they also use animal skin and bones to make umiaks which are large open sea boats used to hunt whales there are some pictures on this page look yes but now times have changed a great deal while inuits in northern greenland still follow the traditional lifestyle several of them have shifted to towns and cities close by exactly and these people wear modern clothes live in modern houses and eat a lot of tinned food they no longer use kayaks but travel via motor boats helicopters and snowmobiles they now have improved education housing and health care facilities so they no longer have to hunt for a living no andrew 
all of them don't have to hunt now. Many have learned skills like carpentry, metalwork and shipbuilding. They now find jobs in fields such as food processing, mining and the log industry. In fact, Greenland is developing quite fast. Nook, also called Godthab, is the capital of the country. Sisimiet is a large port city of Greenland. The country also has an international airport called Kangalaswik Airport. Do they speak the same languages as us? No, Andrew. While English is used largely across the country, the official languages of Greenland are Greenlandic and Danish. Since Greenland is rich in natural resources, it is called the land of tomorrow because it may provide goods required for the future to other countries. Wow, that is really interesting. I will definitely visit Greenland when I am older. <laughs> definitely, Andrew. But now it is time for the surprise I have planned for the two of you. Some tasty homemade ice cream. Yay! चलिए इन्हें आइसक्रीम खाने देती है लेकिन मेरे चैनल को आप और मेरे वीडियोस को आप लाइक कीजिए शेयर कीजिए सब्सक्राइब कीजिए और ऐसे ही देखते रहिए धन्यवाद